Based on our extensive review of the literature, staff recommends using the average value reported by the US EPA panel of experts to represent the best single point estimate. It is a 10% increased risk of premature death for 10 micrograms per meter cubed increase in long-term PM2.5 exposures with an uncertainty interval of 3 to 20%. The uncertainty interval reasonably captures the current state of knowledge of the relationship. Our advisors and peer reviewers agree that our assessment is a reasonable interpretation of the available data. To demonstrate the, robu the robustness of this new relationship, we performed several sensitivity analyses, including combining all 12 US EPA um, expert opinions using various weighting schemes. and combining results from key studies that are often cited in the literature and used by multiple agencies for estimating premature death. Interestingly, after submitting our preliminary report for peer review, an independent panel of experts convened in Europe came up with results that matched ours. A key component in calculating premature death involves estimating public exposures to PM. The graph shows the population-weighted average annual PM 2.5 a concentration for the entire state. There is about a 5% improvement in air quality per year due primarily to the board's motor vehicle and diesel engine control programs, as well as the continued implementation of stringent local district rules on combustion sources. This slide shows maps of PM2.5 concentration in 1987, 1999, and 2006. As shown in the key on the right, the darker the color, the higher the PM2.5 concentration. Throughout California, we see significant reductions in PM2.5 exposures, especially in major air basins. In fact, the rates of PM2.5 reductions in California are among the most striking in the nation. As we saw on the previous slide, PM2.5 concentrations have steadily declined. Since 1999, the annual average PM2.5 concentration has decreased by 30%. This reduction translates into 14,000 premature deaths avoided by the cleaner air. In addition to the new PM2.5 premature death relationship, staff updated the statewide concentration of PM2.5. The previous estimate of impacts was based on 1999 uh, to 2000 monitoring data. The new estimate is now based on an average of 2004 to 2006 monitoring data. Up to now, ARB only estimated health impacts associated with PM2.5 exposures greater than the annual state standard of 12 micrograms per meter cube. Our draft report assesses impacts at several levels lower than that. The data now available strongly suggests that premature death may occur from exposure to PM2.5 at levels lower than the same standard of 12 micrograms per meter cube. Our scientific advisors and panel of peer reviewers agree that there's a greater uncertainty about health effects at lower levels. However, we cannot rule out the possibility that of the increased risk. We therefore examine the concentration range between 7 and 2.5 micrograms per meter cube as the lowest level at which we can estimate health effects. 7 micrograms uh, per meter cube was selected because it is the lowest level measured that could be linked to premature death in the American Cancer Society study, which is the largest cohort study conducted thus far. The other 2.5 micrograms per meter cube represent, represents the background PM2.5 level in the absence of man-made emissions in California. It should be noted that several ongoing studies should help resolve the question on the lowest level appropriate for estimating health impacts. Using the new methodology, staff estimate that 14,000 to 24,000 premature deaths are associated with long-term PM2.5 exposure. Most of the deaths occur in three air basins, South Coast, San Joaquin Valley, and San Francisco Bay, because this is where the majority of the state population lives. In our draft report, staff also updated the process for estimating diesel PM um, concentrations. The methodology makes use of the relationship between NOx and diesel PM. Using the new methodology, we estimate that annually 3,900 premature deaths can be associated with diesel PM emissions in the year 2000. In contrast, the previous estimate was 2,200 deaths. In summary, the proposed revisions discussed today would bring our estimate of increased risk to 10% uh, per unit of exposure, with the lowest level of health effects down to a range of 7 to 2.5 micrograms per meter cube. We also updated the air quality data used in the calculations to more recent years, 2004 through 2006. 
Based on the proposed changes, the annual estimate of premature death due to PM2.5 range from 14,000 to 24,000. This range is equivalent to about 6 to 10 percent of the total number of deaths reported in California per year. In addition, staff has proposed a revised methodology for estimating diesel PM concentrations and estimated that about 3,900 premature deaths are attributable to primary diesel PM sources. These new estimates are yet another illustration for the need for continuing our aggressive efforts to control PM in California. Estimating health impacts play an important role in ARB's plans and regulations. The new methodology in the report released today will be used in future health impact analysis in support of PM regulations. It will also be useful for the next round of PM air quality standard review at both the state and federal levels. After the release of the draft report today, we begin the process of accepting public comment. In June, a public workshop will be held to solicit public comment on this draft report. We will accept public input through mid-July, and in August, we will incorporate all comments into our final report on the new methodology. The draft report is available for downloading at the site listed on this slide. This concludes our presentation.